Hello, this is Chris at Lifetime Trail Maps, and uh, the reason I'm bringing this video to you today is because from time to time, you may experience an issue inside the app um, with downloading new background maps. Um, today's a perfect example. We're having our security certificate uh, updated on our app, so our map server inside the app is actually being updated, so there are no maps here. So let me take you to the screen and show you what I'm talking about here. We're going to go into the Lifetime Trail Maps app. We're going to tap in the right hand corner up here, the folded map. We're going to tap switch map. And you're going to see here in my lifetime maps tab, I've got one map, which is our base map. But let's just say I want to download another map, you know, Kentucky or Georgia or West Virginia. We would normally go up here to the top right hand corner, click on download new. And it would populate our list of maps. Unfortunately, you can see a big white screen and that's a little disheartening, but we do have a quick workaround for it. So let's get started. All right, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to download this map manually and then we're going to drop it into the app so that we can uh, have it show up on our list. So let's go back to the app map screen here. Um, now let's tap the home screen down at the bottom here and go back to our home screen. All right, first and foremost, we want to download this map. And the way we want to do that is we want to go to Chrome. So on my app or my tablet here, I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. And you can see second row down, second app from the left is Chrome. Let's tap on Chrome. Now, up in your web browser bar there, you can see I've got lifetimetrailmaps.net forward slash map files. You want to make sure to spell that correctly or it will not take you to the website that you see on my screen. Once you get to this particular screen, you can begin downloading whichever maps you want. So you can see here the first map is uh, Tennessee, Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and I actually already have that map downloaded. But let's say I want to download, uh, let's Let's download West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland. It's the third one down. We're going to go ahead and tap on that map. And you can see at the bottom of my screen, it says downloading file. Now, yours may say, you know, do you want to download this file or please accept or whatever, but the object is to download the file. Now, during the process, you can click on details to watch the download. And in my case, you can see that this map is, uh, it's about 448 megabytes and uh, we're downloading at a decent speed, but nothing to get excited about. So we're going to sit here for just a second and let this map download. And once it's finished downloading, then I'm going to show you how to manually move it from the downloads folder over into the Lifetime Trail Maps app so that it will actually show up in the list of maps. Um, this is not something that you're going to have to do all the time. But, you know, while we're doing website maintenance or anything like that, this is a great workaround so that you don't get stuck without having any background maps. All right, we got just another little bit here to go. Okay, looks like it's about finished. So... All right, now that map is done. So we don't wanna to touch anything here. We wanna go back to the home screen, down at the bottom, tap the home screen. Now we wanna move this map to the lifetime directory. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna tap on, on the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, you see the My Files app. Now I've got it on my home screen, but a way to find it is swipe up from the bottom of your screen and you can see on my fourth row down on the left hand side is the my files app now it may not always be where it is on my screen you may have to search for this you know by swiping left or right or if you notice up here at the top you'll see samsung folder a lot of times the my files app is inside that samsung folder so you can tap that folder and then find that app but anyway let's go ahead into the my files app and the way we're going to find that file is we're going to click on Downloads on the left-hand side here. And there you can see the West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland map that we just downloaded. Now we need to move it, all right? So what we want to do to move it is we want to long press on it until a checkbox pops up. All right, now down at the bottom of my screen, you see Move. It's just down there to the left. We're going to tap on Move. And now it's going to ask us where we want to move it. So now on the left-hand side, we want to tap Internal Storage. On the right, we want to tap Lifetime Trail Maps. On the right, we want to tap Map Files. 
Now this is where we want to put that map. So now you can see at the bottom right hand screen, it says move here. So we'll tap move here. And you can see that it pasted that map into the lifetime map files directory. So now we want to go check and make sure that the map is actually there. So let's tap our home screen. Let's open the lifetime app. Let's tap the folded map in the upper right hand corner. Let's tap switch map. Let's tap on installed lifetime maps. Now you can say, hey, it's not there. But all we need to do is tap the refresh button at the top of the screen. And there you can see that that map has now been put into our map files directory. So as you can see, this is a quick workaround. If the download new feature is not working for some reason, uh, that's just more of a convenience, but this is a good workaround. So uh, just remember uh, to, to check back on this video, uh, you know, to, to download any other maps if you need to. Otherwise, your download new feature should be working. Uh, it's very rare that that feature doesn't work, but like I said, it has to do with server maintenance and things like that. So um, Anyway, you've now learned how to download a map manually, so as always guys, ride safe.